Hi, it's Mary Kay at Backbone Valley Nursery in Marble Falls, Texas. It's October in Central Texas and we're starting to get some calls about some trees that are looking kind of strange. Most of all, they have these giant webs in the tips of the branches. Everyone wants to know what to do about them, so we're going to talk about what to do about them today. This is a pecan limb that has some, um, there's a few different types of caterpillars active right now. One is called a walnut caterpillar, it affects pecans. And there is another fall webworm, which is kind of a misnomer because the fall webworm also appears in the spring and can have up to four broods during the summer and fall in Central Texas. But now, after all these wonderful fall rains we've had, they're starting to emerge. So what do you do if you see one of these in the tips of the branches of your trees? These could be on pecan trees, they could be on fruit trees, they could be on your oak trees as well. We also have some nice um, caterpillars on oak trees that do not form the webs, and they are causing some problems in defoliating the trees right now. If you find a webworm, which is one that forms this nice big web, and it's in the fall, don't worry too much about it. It's late in the year, the leaves are gonna be dropping soon. At this point in time, the leaves are really, the carbohydrates being produced in the leaves are not going towards producing, say, the pecan nut, the fruit. They're going towards storing the carbohydrates in the root system for the growth that comes out next spring. So if this just happens one year, maybe two, you're not in too bad a shape. If it were to happen three years in a row, it could weaken the tree and predispose it to insect or disease problems. So you do want to treat it if you can. Very simple way to do it, if you can actually reach the trees, do what I did, prune out the tip of the branch. You get all of them that way. There's little bitty uh, caterpillars in here, and they're all within that web. Here lies the problem. You can't spray this web and expect that insecticide or whatever you use to get in through that web to the caterpillar. So if you can't prune it out, perhaps you can reach it with a pole and I have a bamboo pole, get the longest pole stick that you can, and just open up that web. Now when you tear that web open, and you just want to tear it up as much as you can, you're going to be opening that web to predators. And we have wasps that love to eat these guys, and we have birds that love to eat these guys, but since they've made this protective web around them, they can't get to them. So get up there and, and knock it open with a, a stick. Another way to knock it open is with a high pressure nozzle. If you can't reach it, get a high pressure nozzle on your hose. Just try and blast those things out of the tips of the branches on the tops of your trees. That is a very successful way to get them open. And then you, you won't have total control, but by golly, you'll have uh, at least some predators coming in for it. Another thing that I can do, if you have a, a nice big pole saw like this one, preferably one that has a uh, pruner at the tip of it, you can knock the, uh, you can prune the tips of the branches off, or you can just use your pole saw because it's, it's telescoping, it can extend, and open these webs up. And then you can either leave it to the predators, or you can actually get a spray into it. We have some organic sprays that take care of these guys and don't hurt the environment or beneficial insects. The first one here is Captain Jack's Dead Bud Brew. It is a spinosad and it, um, it will kill the caterpillars and some other soft-bodied insects. The BT is the preferred one, Bacillus thuringiensis. It kills only the larva of butterflies and moths, which are caterpillars. And this is a moth larva, by the way. So the BT is a really good one to use if you can get those webs open and if you can reach it with these products. If you have, uh, want more of an instant kill, this is a bifenthrin product, relatively low toxicity, and it will kill the caterpillars. And another thing you can use if the conditions are right is this uh, all seasons oil. This is kind of like your old fashioned dormant oil. You spray this only when it's between 45 and 85 degrees and the humidity is low. The reason why we need low humidity, you need fast drying conditions. Not only will this uh, affect the caterpillars now, if you can open those webs up, or if they're a type of caterpillar we're seeing in our oak trees that don't have webs, but in the winter time, January and February, when your trees are dormant, or even your live oaks that still have their leaves on, if you have between 45 and 85 degrees, low humidity, 
thoroughly soak every nook and cranny of that tree, it dries very fast and it will suffocate any insects and it will suffocate the eggs. It is a very good preventative and it's also good to use on fruit trees in the spring. So if you have these, they're unsightly, you don't like them, I don't either, you don't always have to control them for the, for the sake of the tree, for the health of the tree. Open up the webs and they should be just fine. This is Mary Kay, we'll see you next time.